Hello, hello, ladies and girls, this is Lord Cooker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. Alright, so I was about to end off the day, and I noticed I haven't done our purchase yet, so let's do that, and then we're ending the day. We're going home. I don't feel like working no more. Ain't nothing left to do. <laughs> We are very productive. All right, let's go and grab our stuff. You know what I'm all about the stuff. Oh, let's do the cloning one. I really want to see this one. It intrigues me. Alright, the customer wants you to add a new SSD to their PC and clone their operating system onto it. So, let's start by installing the new SSD. You got it, boss! Um. Oh yeah, the SSD spots are back here. Cool! I'm being told what to do. I don't like it. Great. Now that's the new SSD. Now that the new SSD has been installed, let's uh, see how to clone the OS onto it. Let's start by installing the OS cloner app onto the PC. Okay, you're the boss. Yeah. Ah. Hate it when I'm unable to go into the bias. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it your way. I'm gonna pout about it. <laughs> OS Cloner. Now that the, the OS Cloner app has been installed, we just need to... We just need to the... We just need to the clone... We just need to clone the OS onto the new SSD. Yeah, I think that the shouldn't be there. We just need to clone the OS onto the new SSD. Yeah, that sounds better in my hand than the clone to the... I mean, I guess that works too. Uh, for that, uh, we'll need to use the OS cloning USB drive. Oh, it's a different stick. Clone OS. Man, so I got like different USB drives for stuff too. All right, close. Restart. Can I go into BIOS now? Unable to enter BIOS.
And we're done. Success! Well done. You have successfully cloned the OS from the original hard drive to the new SSD. Your customer's PC will already contain the storage device that you need to clone the OS to. So be sure to check the PC stats for whatever you need to buy new part or not. Okay. I'm gonna restart it because I want to make sure you got the good RAM. From well, that you get the most out of your RAM. At the very least. Now look at that. Free performance! And it's booting off of the SSD. Great. Cancel. I guess that is because I still have the drive in there. Alright, here we go. Because he didn't say anything else in this email, did he? Mm, don't think so. Alright, let's do the operating parts. The reading mark score. To see the 3D Mark score, you need to install the 3D Mark app. Insert your USB drive into the customer's PC. Power it on and install the 3D Mark. So. Yeah, you're gonna tell me what to do. <sighs> I mean, I know what to do, but you won't let me. I mean, I probably wouldn't even need to power this whole thing up. Yeah, I'm a little grumpy. Unable to enter BIOS because we refuse to let you do that. Stinking sons of. Mm -hmm. It's kind of frustrating. I want to do stuff and it won't let me. Run. Oh god, that is shugging. So, can I cancel this? Mm, no. Oh god, do I really have to sit through all this? Man. I can't believe it forced me to look through all this. Well, can you just be done? <sighs> this is one of those tutorials that I really hate now. Because I can't even leave the PC to do something else. There we go. You have successfully run 3D Mark on the customer's PC and have been given scores for both GPU and CPU and a combined overall benchmark score. GPU score, GPU score. Here you can find the final combined score of the 
GPU and CPU. I know that. Now the score is known. It is displayed here. News test will be be done if changes to the CPU and GPU have been made. All right. Seriously? You're really gonna have me do that. <sighs> I don't feel like that is something you should even install on the customer's PC. Go to the shop and order the DFL Radeon R9 280. GR8, 3 gig. Once it arrives, we'll need to install it and run some benchmark key. test again to make sure that you reach the score the customer has requested. Okay, um. Can I just ignore everything you just said and do my own thing? Looks like it. I'm gonna go rogue. Haha. <laughs> I wonder if that will actually let me do this, or if it's gonna be a pain in the bum. Alright, here we go. I mean, I really hope you ain't gonna have me watch through that whole 3D marks benchmarking again. Because that was rather painful. Oh, thank god. Yeah, looks a whole lot better already. <sighs> Can I have some water? Oh. I can already tell there's a whole lot better. All right, four thousand six hundred and nineteen. I didn't need to buy your stinking graphics card. Haha. -ha. I'm going rogue. <laughs> okay. I'm having fun and I shouldn't be. It's, well, a little childish what I'm doing here, but let me have my moment. <laughs> All right. Collecting and collecting. Cool. And now we can delete you too, because I don't need you no more.
Uh, Bongle application unlocked. Bongle is a review site where your customers will rate you and leave you feedback. Both good and bad. You can see your current rating out of 5 stars at the top of the screen. A better rating will be more varied and lucrative jobs available. Install the app to see what your customers are saying about you. And try to keep them happy. That's what I'm doing. Hidden, hidden objectives. Customers... Customer reviews are fickle things, and people are not always upfront about what they want. Keep an eye on what the customers say in their email. emails, as they often mention hidden objectives. Make sure you do a good job, or your bungle rating will suffer. Thermal application unlocked. The thermal app lives on your tablet and can be used to detect overheating components inside a PC. Cool. Love that. Alright, well, I am going to end up this episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.